Hey everyone, back at it again with another DM plays deck. This week featuring the other deck that has run rampant in the new meta. And you've already seen a sneak peek in the previous video. Of course, it's still Giza. Refresher on what he did. So he's an 8 mana Earth Eater slash Giant. 9k double breaker with the ability when you put the screech in the battle zone, you may draw cards for each of your Earth Eaters and Giants in the battle zone. He also has the sympathy ability to cost one less for each of your Earth Giants and Giants, or Earth Eaters and Giants currently on the field. Which makes him a great partner with Carino Giant, which reduces the costs of your Giants by two. And a crazy curve for this deck is to play Fairy Life, or the new Fairy Life that they release called Living Lithograph. Yes, now you can play 8 Fairy Life. So you play that on turn 2, then curve right into Carino Giant, and then next turn right into Titan Giant, which now costs 5. Or even Dolgiza, which also costs 5. This curve is actually absolutely insane. I've also included the Emergency Typhoon plus Terror Dragon Dallasona, um, or T-Dad, is like <laughs> what we like to call it, um, to combat this card. And also, when you draw a billion cards from Dolgiza, you don't instantly lose to a single Lost Soul. There's also four copies of the 4 mana 4k blocker that draws you a card, but more importantly, he's an Earth Eater and synergizes well with Dolgiza. Not to mention that he curves off right off the 8 fairy life that we're playing. Now, some of you can see there's a few odd cards that are also in this deck. I've also had a bit of fun with this deck list and included some, you know, some fan favorites. So Scarlet Sky Terror makes an appearance to combat all the crazy battle force decks along with Galk Life. Because, you know, he's pretty cool. And he's a patrol counter. To round it all off, we have four copies of Drill Crab. Alright, hope you guys enjoy the clips. Alright, today I thought we would go back to the older style of commentary. As with the introduction of the new set, there are quite a few OCG exclusive. And I thought it would be better um, to show you guys in a slower commentary focused video. So here I'm aiming to play Fairy Life right into Carino Giant. It's a pretty awesome combo actually. You can always have such power plays during turn 2 and 3. Our opponent is also looking like he's running the Emergency Typhoon plus T-Dad, which is the coolest acronym ever um, combo. Uh, yeah, I think I'll go ahead and charge Drill Trap. And then right into Carino Giant. Again, Carino Giant, especially when you top deck a, either a Titan Giant or Dogiza, it's actually it's just insane. Um, hopefully, I can draw into one. And speak of the man. So, Dogiza right here costs only 5 and draws you uh, 3 additional cards. Um, and he has a, he's, he's a 9k body as well. It's absolutely insane. I think I also go ahead and attack with Camino Giant here. Just because he only has Kokolupia and doesn't really have a way of dealing with it with only 3 mana currently. So it looks like he's playing some sort of dragon deck. But, you know, this deck was really popular maybe like a month ago, but. With the introduction of the new set, I don't know how it um, holds up against all these super fast mid range decks like Elgiza and Balfour. Oh, baby, a triple. <laughs> Go ahead and charge one. You can always get them back with, um, what you call it, Titan Giant. Morty Dad. Hmm. I think I'll. Uh, it's quite tricky. Hmm. Not sure if double breaking there was the right play. 
Because the other thing is, um, I do have Bombazar next turn. So at worst, he plays the um, Galzark and kills my my giant. Uh, but I'll have Bombazar and then I can double break and then kill me that. Here's Galzark. So he's gonna probably kill. Although Galzark actually doesn't get the power boost, so you can't actually kill. He has a suicide. There we go, suicide. Um, but that actually just kills the. Yeah, so that really didn't work out for him at all. <laughs> I'm not sure how that direction works, but I guess it's in my favor. Um, so this should be enough. He needs two short triggers. So yeah, this game perfectly demonstrates how crazy this deck can be. It was only turn 5 and get a 9k body out and then Titan Giant right into Bombazar. Cool! Alright, let's see if we can get into another game. Well, looking good. We have Fairy Life and 2 Carino Giant. Now that we can play 8 Fairy Life, this is actually pretty consistent. Um, and especially with the new form on Earth Eater, it, it curves off really well off um, Fairy Life. Obviously, our opponent knows the OPness that is Fairy Life. And look at this hand so, Titan Giant, oh, sorry, not Titan Giant, Karino Giant into Dolgiza looks so juicy here. Another fairy life for our opponent. Looks like he is also running some sort of dragon deck. Let's go ahead and charge that. We are first giant. Crazy thing is actually next turn we can even play Karino Giant. So charge mana, we play Karino Giant, and then Dogiza will cost two mana. Which is insane. Oh, never mind. That's alright. <laughs> Hopefully we'll one of these games I'll get to show you how how strong or how how strong the uh, the stacking effects of Karino Giant is. You know, never underestimate two mana discount from Karino Giant. Just like how you should never leave up Copalupia if you can. Or if you can if you, if you can have removal for it. And well his Dogiza turn late, but it's still still Dogiza. <laughs> Draw you three additional cards. So my hand doesn't really do much in terms of you know it's just gonna be spamming more creatures and possibly waiting for Bombazar to end the game. At least what he does. So he does use um Kachua's effect. He's going to bring out Bombidius. Oh, so this is a new card. I think he gains power for every shield you and your opponent have. And then every time he attacks, um, you get a shield, a mana, and a card in your hand. So it's, it's, it's really strong. So there he broke four shields. Um, but here's the T-Dad combo that's coming into effect. With Emergency Typhoon. And that actually works really well with um, with the bombers that I have in hand. Even though he has six shields, um, I think I can get through. So this this is a bit of a tricky situation because I feel like I don't have enough monsters yet to get through his shields. But in a way, I do have to break sooner rather than later just in case he uh, plays like a Bombazar or Galzark of his own and he speed attackers and wins next turn. So I think I'll play a blocker here. Uh, what I can do is I can play the four mana blocker and then ride it to Dogiza. Since with the Dogiza's sympathy ability it costs one less for each of your Earth Eaters and Giants to play. Um, the other cool thing is with Dogiza, you don't have to draw cards. Um, you can just play them out for the body. Um, but here, I thought, you know, I, you know, this game isn't gonna last. <laughs> um, 
too many turns after this, so drawing the extra cards won't really matter in terms of um, getting decked out. So this, this play is a bit risky, but in terms of what could happen, I think the chances are quite low, uh, barring maybe a, like a Terrapit or Aqua Surfer. Aqua Surfer would be the worst. But it looks like he didn't have it, so things are looking good. Now I don't really see him see a way for him to win anymore. Maybe if he um, top decks something with Mag the Magma Dragon. So Magma Dragon reveals the or that Magma Dragon reveals the top card of his deck and if it's a dragon you play it immediately. If not then it just gets discarded. So he didn't get one and he surrenders. 